Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 work from home jobs you can start today that will allow you to either work for someone else or work for yourself from home and make some pretty decent money. So the first job that I would recommend to you is becoming a virtual assistant. This is a fairly easy thing to do. Basically, you just follow the directions of whoever your clients are. Typically, they are very detailed instructions. Basically, it's just the type of things that they don't have time to do that are typically uh, pretty easy tasks to get done. Sometimes they're tedious, but either way, a virtual assistant does things like planning, like scheduling appointments, like checking emails researching projects for people and things like that so as kind of a rule there's a lot of different places you can get jobs you have your typical job sites like monster you have indeed you have career builder you have um, a place like Glassdoor. i recommend them if you want to check the salary of any of these positions so just keep that in mind before i actually um, go through the rest of the video, glassdoor.com, and then go to salaries. That will help you figure out what you can expect to make. And, of course, I just showed you three jobs, job sites. And then for freelancing, if you want to do that route, Upwork, I recommend them. And if you want to just start off easy and maybe not have to uh, make a full-time income yet and just kind of get your feet wet Fiverr is a great place to start as well Upwork's going to have more serious clients but freelancing is a great choice for virtual assistant positions mostly Upwork is good for uh, virtual assistant positions you can find quite a few if you just type in uh, virtual assistants you can kind of see what you're up against as far as competition um, and if you want to go to a place where they're specifically only virtual assistant jobs, you can go to virtualassistance.com where it's a complete job board for just virtual assistants. Okay, so just jobs for people who are looking to help others with just easier tasks that might be kind of tedious that entrepreneurs, typically entrepreneurs, CEOs, people like that. Will hire a virtual assistant just to do you know a lot of the the easier tasks that they just don't have time to mess with anymore and um, it should be a pretty easy job number two you can become a writer so writing is great for Fiverr they have plenty of writing and translation gigs you can see here um, a few of them are articles blog posts copywriting research summaries and things like that Upwork is also great for writing gigs. You can see they have blog writers, content writers, copywriters, etc. And these are going to be bigger jobs. And of course, your regular job boards like monster.com and career builder will have some positions for writers. If you want to do this on your own, there is a great place that you can start here where they pay you for blog posts. And there's 92 websites on this list that pay you $50 plus per post. It's on makealivingwriting.com. I'll have a link to this page for you. But they have um, business, career, and finance related ones. They have essays, family and parenting, health, lifestyle, and general interest. There's a tech. There's a lot of different places that will pay you for articles because content is king when it comes to the internet. So if you like writing, if you feel like you know a lot about a certain topic, whether it's tech, whether it's family, whether it's health, etc., you can get paid to write or you can get a job to do it number three you can do data entry so data entry is fairly easy you can do that on pretty much any freelance site like Upwork and Fiverr of course you have your main job boards like Monster, Indeed, your major job boards like that um, like I said Glassdoor salaries definitely the place to check how much they might make uh, you might make twenty to thirty thousand a year doing something like this, maybe a little more. And as far as a place for just working as a data entry person who gets to work completely from home online without having to start your own 
um, website or anything, you can use clickworker.com. And Clickworker is a place just for these types of gigs. So I would recommend going there if you want to do data entry. And uh, all you do is sign up to become a data entry worker. It has a sign up button right there. Very easy. Just log in, do your work, and that's pretty much it. Number four, transcription. So Transcription, one of the easiest things I think you can do online for a job is transcription, which is basically when you turn audio into text. So Fiverr has gigs like these. You can start out here maybe, maybe even work your way up to Upwork where you can get bigger gigs and uh, maybe more long-term contracts. Um, you may find a few jobs like these on here, maybe not a lot on your main job websites because these are mostly um, online positions. But as far as data or as far as um, transcribing goes, you can start with a place like SpeakWrite. You could even use Transcribe Me. That's another one. Um, SpeakWrite, though, you can uh, go up to Typist Hiring up there, or you can go to Transcribe Me, which is a little more freelance, where you can just kind of sign up and become a transcriptionist. But um, that and transcribe me or two places I would recommend if you want to get started just turning audio listening to it and turning it into a text file number five is video editing so we all need video editing when we do videos trust me I'm someone who does seven videos a week I know the power of video editing and it's kind of a pain to do yourself that's why um, Fiverr Upwork and some of these other sites have um, a quite a few video editors that can do this for a living because it's so much in demand and a lot of times when you put a lot of work into production for the video you may not have time or the resources to do the editing yourself you may have more important things to do or you may just not be able to um, get it done because of a lack of time so as far as video editing goes, there's a quite a bit of stuff like that on Fiverr. You can offer a few different gigs like um, whiteboard and explainer videos. You can do music video lyrics, things like that, testimonials, um, voiceovers, whatever it is you want to do, um, whatever it is you specialize in. Upwork, of course, is another place for this. You can start your own website. A lot of them are even local websites. If you want to start a local business, you might look at um, getting on at one of those places, local jobs like that. Um, a lot of times they may even let you work from home part of the time. So you might look at Indeed and Monster and some of those sites like that and check the salaries on Glassdoor. And as far as video editing software, if you want to kind of go on your own and figure out how to do this yourself, you might want to have one of the best uh, types of software for 2017. So this is kind of a comparison of 10 of the best ones you can get. You have things like Apple Movie or Apple iMovie. You have Apple Final Cut Pro. You have Adobe Premiere, uh, CyberLink Power Director. You know, some of these uh, very high-end or even affordable uh, programs that you can get and some of these even come on the uh, computers you have depending on what kind of computer you have but these will definitely be some you want to look at as far as comparisons go and this page will really go in depth about that so I'll have a link to this page for you it's on uh, PC magazines website but that will be something that could be a really fun job that you could do completely from home. Number six is digital marketing. So digital marketing is something every company needs at least a little bit of. So Fiverr does have some digital marketing type stuff on here. You'll notice they actually have a category for it. Things like SEO. So if you want to specialize in websites and natural traffic and search engines, that's what you would do. Social media marketing, if you're good with Facebook, if you're good with Instagram and building a presence on those, that would be great. Traffic, you want to be good with, say, Google Analytics and some of those. Um, maybe you're good at blogging and things like that, or maybe you're good at advertising. 
there's a lot of different types of marketing that you can do, but a good marketer is somebody that can make a lot of money because your clients are all businesses. And businesses tend to have a lot more money than individual consumers. So they can spend more if they think you can make more money for them. Upwork, another thing, digital marketing is a big deal on here. Sales and marketing experts, you can see is one of their big categories. SEO specialists, email automators, marketing experts, etc. Uh, you'll get bigger clients on here. You just kind of need to work, work up your profile. That's why a lot of times I tell people to start out on Fiverr. But if you want to do this and you want to get some uh, jobs online, one place you can check is the new digitalmarketer.com jobs board. So they uh, launched not too long ago and they now have um, a few dozen jobs at a time. They're growing, so by the time you watch this, they may have a lot more jobs. But this is all just marketing related so you don't have to worry about sorting through a bunch of stuff on these big job sites like monster and indeed it's just all nothing but marketing jobs and things related to that so that's a place i would go if you want a marketing position and of course your regular freelance sites you may do local businesses whatever you want to do number seven graphic design is always going to be in demand because People that are artistic do not grow on trees. People who are artistic are very valuable. You can't teach a machine to be artistic. You can't make a robot do that. So you're always going to have skills that are in demand. People like this, um, you'll find a lot of them on Fiverr. Mostly on Fiverr, you'll see things like book covers for ebooks. Um, you'll see infographic design. You'll see um, logo design, maybe things like that, kind of small stuff when it comes to Fiverr. And as far as, say, some of the other ones, here there's a few examples here. They even do business cards and cartoons. But Upwork, of course, like I said, bigger clients are always going to be on here. Uh, graphic designers, UI designers, motion graphics experts. If you want like a full animated video or something I would go to like Upwork or something if you want to do stuff like that like big projects and graphic design for just working online or maybe working as a freelancer on your own time one place you can uh, work at is 99designs now you probably won't be a, a employee per se but you would actually work to compete against other designers and you would just go to the bottom of the 99designs.com website and click become a designer. And when your designs get accepted by clients, you make a lot of money per design. It gets featured on products. You get to see it out in the real world getting bought. And uh, it's a pretty cool thing. So it, this is one of the more high-end graphic design sites. So I listed this one because you'll probably make the most money as far as graphic design competition sites go. So you can even work on things like food trucks and labels and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. Number eight is tutoring. So tutoring is something that is very helpful for people. You probably won't find a lot of tutoring type stuff on freelance sites. You might find some with uh, your regular job sites like Monster and Indeed and Career Builder. You might look in your local area. They do have jobs, not just uh, salaries and stuff on Glassdoor. So you might search around your location. Maybe you can find something that works from home. But you might need to find uh, places that are specifically websites that do online tutoring. Or you may have to start your own website. So you might do tutoring one-on-one -on -one with people via Skype or via Google Hangouts or some way of doing video chats with people, typically the best way to do it. Um, you could even sell your own courses on a site like Udemy or Skillshare, but Study Pool, this is a place where you can actually be hired as a tutor. You just go up here, click become a tutor in the top right corner, go through the process, and you can help people with assignments, you can help people with concepts, answer their questions, study guides, help them write papers, all kinds of different stuff. So if you want to work from home as a tutor, 
this is one of the first places you should start looking. Number nine is programming. So programming of all different programming languages is a very valuable skill these days and is only going to become more valuable because everything is going towards technology and programming is what tells technology what to do. So Fiverr, they do have some gigs for things like programming. It's typically um, smaller things, you know, if you want to just say look over somebody's code and edit a few things or just help them with WordPress or something like that. Um, you can find stuff like that on there. Upwork, you can do big projects like develop apps for people, develop concepts and programs and software for people. If you want to do big things, big projects that might take a while, maybe give you a little more um, security as far as your work for the year. Another thing you can do is go to TopTol, which is a place where you can actually find work as a software developer or programmer specifically. So this is a place specifically for designers and programmers and it's not going to have a lot of anything else. So people coming here, the clients that come here looking for services are very um, specific. They're looking for very specific things. So Top Tall would be a great place to start. And last but not least is technical support and call centers. So it's definitely something you can do from home. A lot of companies are taking these jobs and allowing them to be done from home. And there are ways that you can sign in with your company and get the right gear and everything. And you work in your own home office or part of your living room or wherever you are. But all you need usually is a computer if you're doing, say, email support or you're doing chat support, or of course you might need a headset and a phone if you're doing a call center type gig. Stuff like this is something you would want to look for on regular job sites. Uh, maybe Upwork, I think I've seen a few things like this on Upwork. Um, Fiverr I wouldn't even bother, but if you want to do this type of work, typically you can just look at individual websites for companies that are hiring and a lot of times they're going to be hiring people like this anyway because customer support is a very big deal it has a lot to do with the success of your company and there are unlimited businesses out there looking for customer support people or you can do something like workingsolutions.com you can go there work at home you can just click this green button in the top right corner click apply and then you can hopefully get accepted to work from home for different companies as a customer support specialist so all you need basically is the internet maybe a phone and that's about it so if you got something from this video if you feel like you learned something about maybe a few jobs that you could try for working from home please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you and if there are some other jobs that you've tried from home and you really enjoyed or you want to just let me know what you thought about the video let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you I'd love to get your feedback I'm always looking to improve these videos for you and all of the links all the resources all the show notes and related content to this video will be on one page at selfmadesuccess.com very shortly after publishing the video and you can go there for that, or you can find the link to that page in the video description. So other than that, I hope you, en I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.